instruction video on how to edit videos. First we're going to get a video. We'll go with Family Guy Season 1, Episode 1. Just to show you. I'm going to cut out the opening song where they're at the piano. I'm going to make it where that's the only clip. So I'm going to go into my start menu. Go to all programs. Windows Movie Maker. Okay. Now I'm going to move this down so I can get in here. And then I'm going to click once on the episode that I told you I was going to use. Pull that down like that. And then drop it there. Now it comes up right there. I'm going to click on it once again. And drag it down into this top bar where it says drag media here next to video. And there we go. You see this is the screen to show you what you're going to be playing. You click on play. Mom, and you play to the point where you want to start the first cut. I'm going to pause it there because it just passed where I wanted to cut. So I'm going to scroll it back just a little bit. Play it again. I didn't mean to do that yet. And pause. And go back a smidge. Okay, I'm going to click on split, because that's where I want to stop it. Okay, I can go ahead and right click, right click, finally, I had to try and get it to go. You right click on the, remove, and now it's right where I left off. Okay, now I'm going to go back. And... I'm going to go ahead and do a split there. Actually, I'm going to undo that split. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and let it play. And I'm going to pause. And I'm going to let it go a smidge more. Okay, I went too far, so I'm going to go back. And I'm going to split again. And I'm going to take this section out. Now we have just the part that I want. Let's see. That's how you edit the video. Now to save it, click go over here to publish to. Click on this computer. And we'll call it 
FG1 and I've got it set where it's going to go to C users John pictures but you can do either drop down or you can do a browse and put it in any other folder that you want or your desktop in this case we'll put it in desktop we're gonna go click on next I always stick with best quality which is recommended and I'm gonna go to publish and click on that Okay, I'm going to have it play the movie or the video clip that I just made when it cl when I click on finish. So, it'll bring up Windows Media Player automatically like that. And I always do this to check and make sure that the video is working properly. And there it is. The video clip that you created is now a video clip that can be played on here. So, next we're going to do another video for posting on YouTube. 